Chief Inspector Sergeant Willabaster, sir. charged with residing in a restricted area without proper registration, which places you in the position of being a class three individual living in a class one zone, which is a federal offense. Do you deny the charge? You are additionally being charged with transporting a class three individual across federal restricted territory. Do you deny the charge? I don't know what you're talking about. This is an eyewitness account who details a woman matching your description assisting a known fugitive across the border to Canada. Now, let's not draw this out any further. One last time. Do you deny the charge? Good. So now we're getting down to brass tacks. <laughs> we want to know the identities of your conspirators. I swear I don't know anything about it. It is very important that you tell me the names of the people that you're working I with. I don't know. What did you do with him? Nothing, nothing. He's been in safe hands ever since we brought you to him. Now, I want you to tell me the names of your conspirators. This isn't fair. Who told you life would be fair? Timothy Irons was the one who brought them into the town. Robert Grossman was the one who hid them in his house until they could cross the border. Willow Fenn was the one who falsified the documents. And I helped them get across the border. That was everyone. Try this again. I want the people who run your little movement. I mean, you must have someone on the inside in order to evade capture. I don't know. I got my information from the others. <laughs> well, 
that puts us in a very interesting situation. Either you truly don't know, or you're lying to me. Neither of which bodes well for you. Tell me the names. I can't. I don't know. Can't? I won't. I think you have what I need, and you need to give it to me right now. Tell me the names. I don't know. You don't know, and you will tell me. I own you. All I have to do is give the word, and you disappear without a trace. Please. How can you sit there and tell me that you don't know? You mean nothing here. You are less than human here. All I have to do is go out there and tell every guy that they can come in here and do whatever they please with you. <clears throat> well, maybe if you won't think about yourself, maybe you'll think about yourself. You think you can do what you want with us? You don't even think we're human, do you? You feel like God in this little concrete cell? Well, you're just as human as me and you can die just as easy. What are you talking about? Don't you care what happens to your son? I mean, you can save him still, even now. 